Hey guys, how's it going? It's a pocket. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your iPhone if you forgot your password. So let's get started. Please do not freak out if you've forgotten your password because unfortunately it happens to many people out there. It happened to me at once and of course on some of my friends. And unfortunately we didn't have anything else to do but reset our iPhones back to its factory settings. So as I mentioned, unfortunately, there is no way to bypass your password unless there is a glitch on the iOS operating system like they were a couple of months ago. So your best bet is to try to remember what your password is. So maybe you have written it somewhere, but you don't remember. So please go ahead and look for it for that small piece of paper or wherever you wrote the password to just do your best to try and remember your password. And if you gave up with that and you tell yourself, okay, I cannot do anything else, then you need to follow the steps on this video. So what you need to do right now is to power off your device by holding down the power button, slide to power off, and once you're done, go to your computer and launch iTunes and plug in the charging cable to your computer. After you have done that, take your charging cable for your iPhone, hold the home button and then connect your charging cable then you're gonna see the app logo now keep holding your home button until you see this screen and then you can release the home button this means that your iPhone is in recovery mode now and is waiting for iTunes to download the latest iOS operating system for your iPhone. So now I'm going to my computer to show you what you need to do next. Now you should see this little window pop up on your computer. So here you have two options. You can either restore your iPhone or update. It really depends on you whether you want to restore it or update. If you click on restore then everything on your phone is going to be deleted but the current version running on your iPhone is going to be still there. So once you restore your iPhone, the current iOS version is going to still be there on your iPhone. If you click on update, it's going to also reset everything on your iPhone, but also update it to its latest iOS version. So for example, if the latest iOS version is iOS 11 and you currently have iOS 10.3.1, for example, iOS 11 is going to be downloaded to your iPhone. Once you have done that, once you decided to click restore or update, you need to wait for iTunes to complete the process and after that you'll go back to your welcome screen on your iPhone. At that point you need to set up your iPhone the same way you did once you bought your iPhone and after that you're gonna have a brand new iPhone ready to be used. And if you decide to set a password again, I will highly recommend you to write it somewhere and then hide this piece of paper so in case you ever forget your password, to get this paper and then type the password in. And that brings to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think about this video. And if you have more questions, let me know. Share this video to your friends if they experience the same issue you have. And of course, if you're a new visitor, make sure to hit the subscribe button to not miss any updates from our channel. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you to my next video.